Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Race by Smokehouse and Grill. And today we're doing an 11 and a half pound leg of lamb. This is going to be awesome. We're doing it on the Weber Rotisserie. Stick around. Alright, thanks for hanging out. So we're making this leg of lamb on the Weber Rotisserie on the uh, the Weber 26 inch kettle with the Cajun Bandit 26 inch rotisserie. First thing I'm going to do is you can see there's some thicker fat here. We're going to get rid of that. Bear with me today. It's pretty windy outside, so if you hear it, tough. So we're going to go ahead and just trim some of this up here. Because when we season it, we're going to want to get as much meat exposed to the seasoning as possible. A lot of this stuff isn't going to render off. So you want to get that meat seasoned so that meat tastes really well, not the fat that you're not going to eat. Season it. I'm gonna end up putting some garlic cloves punched throughout here just by taking a knife, cutting a little bit, sticking a whole peeled garlic clove in there. That's gonna give it some great internal flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead, put about 8, 10, 12 more of them throughout this whole thing, and we'll be back. So I got all the garlic plugged in here. Uh, it's tough to see, but we got here, 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 here. There's about 10 to 12 spots on both sides I put garlic in. I really like garlic, so um, I think that's gonna really impart a lot of great flavor throughout the meat. So the next step before I actually season it is I'm gonna try to get it here on the steak that goes onto the rotisserie. So this is gonna be the first time I'm doing it on the rotisserie, so let's see how this works out. I'm gonna try to follow the bone and come out somewhere through here. I don't know, we'll see. All right, that seems pretty tight there. All right, so now that I got this on, I'm gonna, uh, you know what? I forgot something very important here. Need to have claws on both sides. I didn't put the claw on this side. Lesson learned. Let me go get the claws, put them on. Be right back. All right, back with the claws. Pull this back out. Now I gotta get a claw on here first. Now, back through. Let's see if I can find the same spot. That's plugging in a little bit into the meat there, so that's good. That'll keep that side in place. Tighten it up so it doesn't go anywhere. Now, same thing with side two here. Got to find a spot where this is going to get the most meat possible. But again, we're hitting bone, and so you really got to kind of dig around. So, we gotta put a little muscle into it, but there we go. This is gonna spin nice, go right over the fire. So, next step, we're gonna season it up. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of olive oil, and then I'm using uh, Pork Mafia's Greek Mafia rub, and then I'm just gonna hit it with some salt and pepper right on top of that. I think that flavor profile is gonna be fantastic. So, here we go. And the reason I did the skewer before I did the rub is I didn't want to mess the rub up and have to do the rub a few times. Greek 
Mafia, first layer of rub here. Again, if you haven't tried Greek Mafia from Pork Mafia, check it out, it's awesome. And we're gonna do this liberally. And again, it is a windy day out, so it's blowing everywhere. It's all right, but we'll get through it. It's smelling great already. Then while I have it on this side, I'm gonna hit it with my salt and pepper mixture, some kosher salt, and some coarse black pepper. Same thing I use on my briskets and beef and many, many things. to the cooker here and I'm using charcoal baskets on either side of where this is going to go. I'm going to put uh, raw charcoal underneath and I'm going to hit, hit it on top with some lit charcoal. We're going for an internal temperature somewhere around 140 before we pull it off. So let's go get this fired up. Chimney is lit up nice and we are going to dump these into the baskets on unlit coal we have there. We got it on both sides. Time to put this leg of lamb on. You want to tighten this nut here, and then this will keep this all in place as it's rotating. Flip it on. And we are golden. All right, we're gonna keep checking on this about every half hour or so. We'll take some internal temps and we'll be right back. All right, everyone, it's off the grill. It's got up to about 155, a little higher than I wanted to get, but we know what? We're gonna let it rest here a few more minutes and then we're gonna slice it first. While I'm letting it rest, I'm gonna remove the claws and I'm gonna remove the skewer. Time to let it rest. Okay, this bad boy has been resting about 20 minutes. I'm gonna take it out and slice a little bit, see how it tastes. And this looks so good. It's delicious. Oh my gosh. Not a huge lamb guy, but this is this is fantastic. You know, you've got that Greek mafia seasoning, which is out of this world to begin with. A little salt and pepper, put it over the jealous devil lump charcoal on the rotisserie, let it go low and slow. This actually went quicker than I thought. It was about an hour and a half, a little bit closer to two hours, somewhere in that range. And it came out amazing. Uh, we're gonna eat good on this tonight. If you have any comments, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you like what we're doing here, click that subscribe button. Follow me on social media at Facebook and Instagram, and you'll see a lot more of this to come. Cheers, everybody, thanks. Oh yeah. <laughs>